So you got the hood on. Yeah, we're getting the hood on here right now. Putting in the bolts. This thing looks great. And now that the hood is on and the truck drives, we'll be able to put the name on. We got Joel coming to pick us up today with the low bed. We're gonna get these trucks loaded up on the low bed so we're ready to go first thing in the morning. Well, you know, after all of the transport nightmares we had with a headache crack, I'm pretty sure the only one that can haul our truck to the show here is Joel and Royal. <laughs> we, yeah. we need to know what gets there, so Joel came back to help make sure of that. The reality is really sinking in when the low bed shows up. Yeah, that's like, holy shit. The low yeah. bed is here. Yeah, she's go time All we now. need to do is reassemble the truck. <laughs> so we've got uh, like sub four hours left to go. Uh, emotions levels are peaking, as you can see, uh, by the board. But the good news is that we have very few tasks left on this list. We've got fenders left to install, they've been freshly painted. We've got an interior left to finish, which is almost complete. Uh, side boxes to put on. Uh, the sides of the hood are actually ready to go. There's nothing to be done there. Um, things are looking up. I think we're going to make our deadline. Get this truck on the low boy and uh, get it to Vancouver in time for the show. <laughs> Things are looking pretty good here at Edison. For the first time in, in many days, the task list is getting really small. So, exciting. Woo! Yeah! Woo! So good. We're gonna be slight now. I don't think I'd be very good company. <laughs> you just want me to film you a silent B-roll? Yes, please. You got the pressure on today, do you, Richard? Right. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. You look like you are uh, also cutting her right down to the last minute with a lot on your plate to get done before the f in the final hours before we load this truck. Yes, yes, indeed. <laughs> so fuck off, there. We made the uh, the most finicky work um, only possible at the very end, uh, and we made it as hard as possible. <laughs> well, we appreciate you, man. <laughs> Thank you. I won't hold you up any longer. Thank okay, you. let's go silent B-roll, starting now. Yes. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Okay, if you can't tell, it's a little hectic around the shop today because we have about 10 hours to get everything assembled and onto the truck, and we just realized we forgot to even paint a couple things, so... It's a little hectic. Eric's doing some light towers, light, putting some lights on our brand new solar trailer. We're getting hood, fenders, walking deck, parts painted. This is a busy, chaotic day. Why is Eric putting lights on a solar trailer? We're, we're, we're bringing, bringing our solar ta trailer to show that off too. It's part of their whole environmental sustainability thing. They're not just electric cars, they're showing off some like environmental. So like, hey, we got a solar trailer and they're like, bring that. And we're like, cool. One more thing to do. You guys ever had a panic attack before? <laughs> are you referring to the whole project or are you standing on the ladder like that no no it's just uh we're just down to the wire here we got a lot of things to do in basically like eight hours yeah it's a little stressful but uh i got a good feeling we'll make it through it's pretty cool that we got to bring our solar trailers down there it sure is a huge honor and this is the latest unit as well so this one has brighter lights on it um dan is putting on some new switches and it's got a new circuit board that we designed this past summer so we're basically showing off to the world the latest and greatest light tower. So I'm pretty stoked about it. Low voltage cover. Low voltage cover. Yeah, so it'll hide all the wires and components and whatnot. There's a new face here. Who are you? Yeah, I'm Matt with Boston Equipment out of Quinnell. And you're uh, doing what here? Well, I just so happened to show up today and got put to work. So doing a mechanical inspection over the truck before it goes out. Um, Red Seal Journeyman Heavy Duty Mechanic. So you're checking fittings, everything, lines? Air lines, yeah, all the mechanical suspension. It, uh, yeah, just, just going over the truck, making sure it's tight. Battery boxes, steps, both. Battery box slash steps. Where's your dad? My dad's gone fishing. Nice. He got the fabrication done. He didn't want to go to the show, so he took off fishing. Oh, that's awesome for him. Yeah. He said once he is done, he's going fishing for a whole week. So him and his buddies loaded up. Took off there two nights ago. And what are they fishing for? Trout or salmon? Salmon. They, those fuckers, man. That's what I want to be doing right. Well, no, that's what I would have been doing right now if we weren't doing this. Yeah, that's what you prefer to be doing. 
Uh, easy, you got to choose my words there. I would rather be here doing this right now, but this was unfortunately timed with the peak salmon season. I was uh, standing here getting ready to double check everything, and I noticed a little puddle of glycol coolant right here. We don't want that at the show. So we noticed that there's an extra fitting here because this radiator is actually for a Chevrolet C3500 pickup truck. So it's got the fittings for the transmission lines and an extra one here. We got a little, little dribble. So I think we're going to get away with just using the Allen key to snug that up. If not, Dan, the mechanic over there, has come up with the plan that we'll tap on it. You know what? It's not leaking. So let's count it as a win. And if you see this portion of the video, we fixed it. If you don't see this portion of the video, you won't know anyway. So just don't let Chase find out. What? Right. <laughs> Nothing. Nothing. It's fixed. Let's see if I can make this interesting. Is it okay if I use the drill? And the F word? The F word <laughs> is almost a guarantee, to be honest. I'm <laughs> feeling a little bit emotionally raw. So it's all happening, man. Trying to put the foot finishing crutches on this, uh, this truck. Lots of man hours. Lots of, uh, lots going on, man. It's, uh, feels like a lot, but it's, it's really cool being, you know, so close. It's pretty nice to have graduated from mechanical and technical and wiring and electrical to somewhat cosmetic in many aspects. I mean, truly, it's, it's an amazing privilege to be uh, this short of a timeline to build a truck and to be thinking about uh, how to pretty it up. But uh, yeah, that's stressful nonetheless. What are you doing today, Michael? Um, I'm getting the truck ready to load up onto the trailer, so uh, because of safety reasons our truck is um, limited in what it can do. Um, the software doesn't allow the truck to go too fast or push out too much torque, so I'm adjusting things to uh, allow the truck to push out a lot more torque because it's a really heavy truck and it's going to have to get up that um, bed to get onto the flatbed to get to the show. and. Uh, so I'm making sure we can pump up those torque limits and let the truck drive up onto that bed, but still safely and not, you know, drive off the ramp with uh, a ton of speed behind it. So that's what I'm up to today. Sounds like computer programming, setting parameters type of thing. Yeah, that kind of thing. A lot yeah. Of, um, a lot of like algorithm stuff. So people were asking how they're going to get in and out of this battery box. Uh, no ladder step? No, there is a step. It's cut into it. That's your step. Yes, but there's also these bolts. There's three eighths, so it's pretty simple. Finishing touches going on over here. Hood latches. Hood, Hood latches. Good. Yes, sir. This yeah, is a yeah. big, big moment. Yeah, that one's the one. Been for a long time. Oh. And then the Kenmore oh. buggers on. on. Yeah. What? Yeah. If it works, it works. Don't scratch the paint. I'm not going to. Kind of did. This. Yeah. It gives me the final resting home. Yeah, that'll hold it. Are you happy with the hood, Chase? Uh, we need half and Yeah, I'm happy with the hood. Want me to put the wrench Front back one's done. On? There you go. Topsy officially has its name on it now. Her name. That didn't sound good. <laughs> there, I'll try it again. Yeah. What? <laughs> no, it's not. Get out of here. <laughs> it's got a little bubble. There you go. Topsy has. Get her. There you go. Fuck it. I don't care. I don't know. I'm making this up as I go. That's right. Just winging her. I've never built an electric truck before. So I guess I built well, yeah, you have. Yeah, you did it once. Okay, I've never built an electric truck hood before. There you go. Oh, I forgot to paint this. When you forgot to pee and paint a piece right before the show. I like the comment someone had asking about the paint job. They're like, yeah, they're truck drivers. Or no, his mechanics are probably using spray paint or something like that. I've seen that one, yeah. That's good. They're wondering if you're rolling it out or painting it with a brush. That's right, it's big paint. Yeah, she's, she's custom. 
She's custom. She's all black, <laughs> Kenworth, Volvo, everyone will just be putting the pension patches. Edison will still be doing body work. <laughs> like, uh, yeah, just doing a little bit of a light assembly as we assemble the truck. Crowds are coming in Friday. We're still pulling the wrenches, getting the truck built. Uh, I'm trying. Yep, <laughs> it's super hard. <laughs> Let's try sending it through. And when you send it through, Ray, pull it back towards you so that it angles towards the tire. Other way, yeah, other way. way. Yeah, there you go. Yay! Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey everyone, we're just getting the turn signals on the uh, fenders here. It's the last piece of the puzzle. Needs to go on the front here. Then this is going to be a quick check of everything, making sure every bolt's tight. Redo it. I know we've done it three times already. Fourth time doesn't hurt. But yeah, we've got the lights on, hoods on. Side, she's looking sexy. It is looking pretty good. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. oh yeah. Oh, that thing's gonna look mean coming up behind you. Hazards are at the bottom of the turn stock. Pull it out. Okay, left turn again. Markers off. Right Shut turn. turn. You good, Shut Ray? Turn. Shut her down. Chase, are you crawling in the battery? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. How are you getting out now? I'll just. Well, I just go down. So let's go in. So here we have uh, Michael working hard on the code, uh, but as we can all see, the uh, truck is way outside of its home in the shop. We're uh, happy, relieved. I don't know if it's all settled in yet, but uh, man, the truck is not sitting in the shop anymore. It's uh, driven out to be loaded onto the flatbed, which is sitting ahead of us. Uh, we're gonna be trailering it down to Vancouver so that we avoid any potential mishaps uh, for our first outing. And uh, man, I think the excitement's gonna be happening soon, but uh, tentative relief, it's, uh, it's a good time. Are you feeling some tentative relief? <laughs> I hope to be soon. Soon tentative relief. Yeah, soon tentative what's, relief. What would, what's causing you continued anxiety? Uh, that the axles seem to stick sometimes, and I want to allow us to drive with one or two axles, and I'm trying to do that as fast as possible. To provide additional context, uh, part of the con like the uh, commissioning process for any new application is some lengthy testing and some tweaking of programming. Um, you know, the tight timeline of this build and installation really has meant that we've pushed a lot of that stuff tighter than we'd ultimately like. Um, and the, oh, is there a nod there? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> a nod there. Um, that tighter timeline really just means that we've had to really accelerate what we're doing. Um, but we're really looking forward to tweaking all this code and making this thing bulletproof uh, sort of shortly thereafter. Mm -hmm. Anything you wanna to add to that thought? Uh, lots of ideas, as far as I know. Yeah, lots of ideas. I mean, it's a vehicle, right? It's you, you don't really think about how much goes into the you know the the controller inside your your own car nowadays. But it's not just throttle anymore, especially with electric vehicles. No, it's so, truly like tens of thousands of oh lines of code, and you have um, dozens of engineers, yeah. and it's you know a months, years long safety and commissioning process, and so totally. We're trying to also be safe when we do this. You know, we don't want things to go bad and anyone to get hurt. So no, absolutely. It's, it's super important, and I think um, we want to, you know, try to also stick to those roots of, like, making this thing as simple and robust as it can be, but, uh, you know, that's going to be a challenge uh, that I don't think is insurmountable. It'll just be more, like, working closely with Chase to make sure that the machine behaves as a, as a heavy-duty truck should behave, yep. and, you know, the things that are important to uh, make it go and, and uh, stop. And when it's unsafe to continue going, that are those are like really well thought out and really well designed. So yep. yeah, absolutely. Speaking of, I'm ready to try and get the truck moving again. You're ready to move. Which direction do you want to move? Uh, either direction. This is exciting. Should <laughs> we move a truck? Will <laughs> Chase be upset with us? 
Uh, Stay well, tuned for results. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Uh, are you ready? Yeah, we're, we're in drive. Oh, we're both in drive. Okay, I'm just gonna wait for that. We're <laughs> gonna try. The visibility is wicked for lining this up. Oh, yeah. This may be the easiest truck to ever put onto a low bed. How am I looking? We're still good? We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. A little more to the right. Oh. I can't see shit. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Yeah, we touched the front blocks and it's fine. Okay. This thing was literally a pair of frame rails a few months ago. We built this from scratch and now we just, it worked, it drove up here. Can't get over it. Gratuitous ass crack shots all the time, I'm sure. <laughs> I blur them out, it's hilarious. You know, Theron could have filmed me from the front. Every time he wants to film me right ass first. Well, that ain't going anywhere. You have to legally say that or it's not secure. You gotta slap it too. You gotta hit it. Scissor neck. This is one of the most handy trailers you can have. What you'll notice is on that winch on the back, he's gonna unpin, lower that winch, that's gonna lower this trailer down, the next gonna pull down, and then we're just gonna drive Carl up and on. How's that? You got more than enough to scissor? How's oh, my yeah. rear overhang? No, you're good there. You're good. You know, the electric truck is so quiet to load, and then we got Joel's truck here, straight pipe. Which, honestly, I prefer the sound of. Once again, big thanks to Royal for helping us out again. These guys are the best. on the trailer. How are you feeling, Eric? Elation. A little relaxation by the end of the day. Just relief, really. Um, yeah, we're not out of the woods yet, but we're far closer. And uh, yeah, first thing in the morning, we're gonna head out, 
get down to the show, do some unloading, and uh, yeah, I'm just so impressed. Carl worked beautifully, right out of the gate, no issues. Uh, very pleased by that. And uh, yeah, both girls are ready to go. So wish us luck. <laughs>